hungry, I'm sleepless, broken down, I'm sick of wandering around this lonely town. I'm nowhere without you. Give me. Hey guys, how you doing? Okay, this song's called uh, Get Me Home. Enjoy. I remember everything you said. Uh, I recorded my album in 2008. We started by taking, or I started by taking the first part of uh, 2008, doing quite a lot of writing, co-writes here there, um, and taking the best of those co-writes, just trying to create some sort of album that that's that matches, which is quite a difficult task in itself, because just because they're the best songs doesn't mean they make a great album. So we had to sort of um, really work that hard. Once we had a good set of songs that we were happy with, we decided to take them to the studio. I'm sick of a wandering around this lonely town of nowhere without you. Just get me home. Just get me home. Thanks, guys. Writing songs can happen anytime, sort of any place, really. It's one of those things where um, something can just make sense or uh, a question can just pop up in your mind and you think, you know? The amount of times I hear myself, for instance, saying, you know, there's a song in that. Um, we just notice something curious about life, about, about people, about. I do a lot of people watching and um, some some strange, some interesting, some beautiful things that go on and uh, yeah, there's always a song there. The next song I'm going to sing you is called Back To You and it's um, basically about not being able to get over um, a girl. So half of us will understand, the other half probably don't care. So. Here it is. It's almost a form of therapy as well, you know, you, 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 you do end up opening up and, and going through and trawling through some of your own experiences and some of your own situations. And, um, it's good to sort of get that off your chest. After a while you do find that after a day's writing, you're not only emotionally exhausted, uh, but you're also on, on a bit of a come down on, a, on an emotional level where you've, you've been so in touch and so, um, so, so free to give them that you, you need that time just to come. I've been reading by philosophy, the science of astronomy, counting stars from A to Z, and all rooms of the galaxy. I've been busy spending all my time in ways to stimulate my mind. It just keeps coming back to you. Um, about singing under studio conditions. Um, I've spent a long time writing songs, recording them in be it just small home studios, that sort of thing, but it's a, a very, very different technique altogether where you, where you use a different type of mic, you, you and a different sort of uh, headphone environment, that sort of thing. Hello. Live is a completely different ball game. I mean, that's something that I'm learning about more and more every time I do a performance. Um, it's great because you, you get um, uh, a, a different dimension to, to I, I'm able to show off a different dimension to myself than just my voice, for instance, over a, a CD recording. Uh, so it's great to show people you know, some, some passion and, um, and just let people enjoy, enjoy the, whole, um, the whole environment rather than just the audio. 
and it's a song called Abavan. And it's, um, it's a song about something that happened uh, in Wales quite a while ago now. And, uh, well, I hope you enjoy. I wrote Abavan quite recently. It was uh, after speaking to my mother about um, her roots and where she came from. There was a boy with a name like mine. I was brought up in a place called Brecon in Wales, uh, a nice small place, and about half an hour away from there in the car is a place called Abervan, where my mother was brought up as a child. Um, her and her brother lived there in a, just a small family house, and her brother went to the school just across the road from their house. In 1966, there was a massive coal mining disaster where a lot of slurry um, fell onto the local primary school and killed uh, a lot of people as well as many, a lot of children. And then the ground, it just slipped away. As heaven cried, the rains came down and washed away the whole damn town. And they said, so that struck quite a heavy nerve with me. Um, and I wanted to write a song about that. So I wrote a song called Abervan. And it's about um, an uncle that I've never met, died way before I was a thought. Now they won't be going in Abervan. My mother's pain was before my time. I've only known her as an old child But when she looks at his photograph I know love outlives the past As heaven cried the rains came down and washed away the whole damn town all day, they searched all night and they lay them down side by side. I think that if there was a target audience, then it's probably going to be um, a slightly, um, I wouldn't say more mature, but I'd definitely say it has to be somebody that's experienced love or, or is at least in the frame of mind where they want to experience those things. Um, I've taken a lot of my work through the dimensions of different relationships um, just that I've had through my life and, and I think that um, sometimes the most receptive to those sorts of thoughts and sorts of um, feelings can, can be teenagers for instance where they are absolutely um, uh, in touch with everything that's going on they're almost hypersensitive to our own bro as well as you know, something could break my heart and you know, like that. Um, and a song could do the same, so I, hopefully I can reach to those sorts of people as well. Um, but I, yeah, people who understand, really, that's who I'm aiming for. Well, I've tried giving in. Yeah, I've tried being strong. But there's no peace at all. Just no moving on. Right now, everywhere I turn, well, I find I'm lost without you. And every day is lonelier than everyone before. And every night, I only miss you. 2009, uh, it's going to be a busy year. Uh, a lot of early mornings, a lot of late nights. Um, RCA and a Sony. Um, and myself are going to be promoting the album, which we'll be releasing uh, late this year. Um, so in between doing that, there'll be lots of gigs, uh, lots of fun and lots of performances. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be good. I believe, I believe that I've done all I could. So don't beg and don't plead, won't do any good. Love for beauty.